Okay, let's try that again. I'm not sure what that thing is. I mean, what, what its purpose was. Well, it looked like decoration to me. Maybe it was a giant satellite dish. Like the one that Sean Bean died in. I assume this was in a movie. Yeah, uh... Goldeneye. Oh, okay, it's been a long time since I've seen Goldeneye. Uh, James Bond drops Sean Bean down. Spoilers for Goldeneye. James Bond drops Sean Bean <laughs> down like 30 stories, and then Sean Bean is somehow not dead, and then he drops a satellite on him. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Goldeneye. I just remember that Goldeneye was an EMP weapon, and like Jean Grey crushes people to death with her thighs. I don't remember. Th okay, it has been a long time since I've seen that. I don't remember that. That chick like Xenia or something? Oh, like yeah! That? Okay. Yeah. Played by the future Jean Grey. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't remember her actual name. Played by the future Jean Grey who uh, kisses Cyclops to death and uh, I cheered. Oh, let me, come on, movie Cyclops wasn't the douchebag comic Cyclops. He was, he was a little bit. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't. This, this wasn't the Cyclops who was having the, you know, you know, the adultery slash Phoenix Force murderer Cyclops. Like, he, kill Maybe he killed Jean Grey, and then he, like, uh, cheated on her with, um, Emma Frost. Wait, wait, he killed Jean Grey? I think, no. I, I'm maybe even misremembering. He I spent, like, a month mourning Jean Grey, and they were, like, married. And then he started going uh, and having sex with Emma Frost. And then when Jean Grey came back, he made her feel bad about it. Welcome to the most enchanted it was the worst. station in the side quads. The Sodian Euphoria permeates the monster terror dome with 7D full immersion joy fun to excite you and your entire you family. 7D? Ready for a little joy fun, beautiful family? <laughs> I'm not sure how... Yeah, it's you, uh... I'm not sure how that would work exactly. They... Like I'm not. They, they have. They have. They, they have to shift. They shift you into some higher dimensional space, I guess. And I'm not even sure how like four quote unquote four D stuff would work, because well, you, well, well, because the human nervous system has not never evolved to you know comprehend it. Comprehend the dimension of time. Well, oh, well, four D. If you're talking, oh, I thought you meant four spatial dimensions. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, but, but yeah, seven D. Yeah, seven D is just. I assume that's just mar that's just probably just marketing hype. Marketing hype. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. Who knows? So I don't okay. So I don't understand dimension space. Length, width, and then depth. Three D is depth, right? Yeah, well yeah, yeah, it's length it's yeah, it's, it's length width height. Right. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Wait. We're, we're, we're not going to decode the mysteries of high of of space and time t tonight today. Okay. I know this this might make me sound horrifically dumb. I'm sure. But uh, hey, people can use it to uh, make themselves feel better about all those times I said bad things about France and John Cena and. Florida, I guess, that John, one time? I can, Florida. I can. John Cena, at this very moment, is watching, you know, just smirking at, smirking at your physics ignorance. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> he's, he's sitting at his computer, just shaking his fan in front of his face, like, you can't see the fifth dimension, Nick. Idiot. Okay. Now, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, uh, one of the nice things about the game is that they, uh, the whole, what, the setting that is, like, this place is, like, the ruins of some, like, res resort vacation spot. Mm -hmm. Let's them do some, it, the fact that this is built on, like, a, this is in the ruins of, like, a vacation resort place, let's them do some fun stuff. Like, here you're at a sort of, like, amusement park. And we, and we're going into, like, basically a giant, like, or not giant, but, like, a tiny, like, model city. Huh. Mechatons. You'll see. 
else are doing. Here we are on the oh. Here we are on the streets of Tokyo now. Nice. Ow. I assume that the, that's because that thing is damaged and not it wasn't actually designed to electrocute people. <laughs> Man, going through something like that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. This little, like, mini-city? Yeah. Of the future. <laughs> but, yeah, seriously, yeah, this does look Pretending pretty Pretending to be, like, Godzilla or a giant mecha. <laughs> or a titan, I guess. Attack on titan, woo. Oh! Unleash. Okay, I've got a new, uh, I've got a new weapon now, the Thumper. Which, instead of a gun, is actually a power you can activate using your leash. Oh, okay. You have a guy? I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it just yet. Oh. Sadist. Nice. I, I'm not sure what that is. That might be because I, I I think I had that chain around him when it exploded. Hmm. Like I said, the physics of the way you kick, and kick people and time slows down for that guy, but nothing else really does not. <laughs> Does not stand up to scrutiny. <laughs> well, I have to wonder when this place was functioning properly. <clears throat> What did these buildings do that required so much electricity that now, when they're damaged, they can just roast guys alive? I don't know. Yeah, it does seem like an excessive amount of electricity. Like, if this was just a mini-scale thing, you'd think, like, LEDs would work fine. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so can you not carry more than two guns at a time? Uh, you can carry three. That's... okay. Uh, well, you can carry three, but one of them ha is always your carbine. Hmm. Or, wait, let me think. Is it yes, it's three. I'd think that with a game with a weapon uh, with a weapon upgrading system, you'd want to carry as many guns as you can. Well, the we... Okay, yeah, topless, that's the, um... That's... You notice I'm using the shotgun. Yeah. Topless skill shot is, is when you, like, blast a guy's torso in two. Okay. Um, uh, well, keep in mind the weapon si the, the, the weapon upgrading system is basically limited to unlock is unlo unlocking the skill shot and then increasing the ammo capacity. Uh, not the skill shot, the charge shot, and then increasing the ammo capacity and charge shot capacity. There's not really much depth to the upgrading. Also, one thing I like is that you do get you know those pods uh -huh. you go to to you know to upgrade whatever. You right. can change. You, you run in. You run into those pretty frequently, and whenever you do, you can swap out your weapons to whatever you want. Oh, okay. So it's not as restrictive as in some games, where like if you want a weapon, you have to find a guy who has it and kill him. Well, yeah, well, I like like uh, I think of Bioshock Infinite, where it has the whole weapon upgrading tree, but but okay. then you can only carry two weapons, unlike where Bioshock One and Two, where you could carry all the weapons. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's Godzilla. Suddenly when suddenly Ishii's speech doesn't lap, match his lip movements for some reason. <laughs> Still, we should run like it is Godzilla. Well, it does have that actual, like, death ray. <laughs> you saw it Yeah, later. from its mouth, that's cool. We'll be seeing more of him. You ever see that Austin Powers movie? Oh, sure. Clear. What was that? 
I don't remember Godzilla being in there. No, he's not in it. They, some car runs into a Godzilla float, and it starts driving around with the float on top of it, and it freaks all the Japanese people out. And uh, it's been a while. one of the guys runs by, and he's like, run, it's Godzilla! And then Hero from Heroes comes by, and he's like, actually, due to international copyright laws, though it looks like Godzilla, it isn't. And the other guy goes, still, we should run like it is Godzilla. <laughs> and then Hero looks at the camera and he goes, I want to stress that it's not Godzilla. And then both of them just start screaming and running away. I don't remember this at all. This is an Austin Powers? Yeah, uh, the third one, Gold Member. Okay, uh, go Okay, I've mostly suppressed my memory of the third one. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Well, maybe it, maybe it wasn't. It's been a long time. Um, But yeah, the, the shotgun is called the Bone Duster. It's got four barrels, and once you unlock the charge shot, which takes a weirdly long time, as I recall, the charge shot lets you fight just this big blast of, like, energy that fries everything in its path. It's absolutely devastating. Nice. And, like, it reduces guys to, like, burnt skeletons. <laughs> Uh-oh. So do you need to shoot it? I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of yelling in this game. <laughs> The opponents are resilient in this game. <laughs> Especially if you think realistically about the amount of force it would take to kick a guy that far. Yeah, it's true. The fact that they can get up from that at all is pretty impressive. <laughs> I mean, you'd think like you'd think like you'd kick it like that and like their liver would like fly out of their back or something. And at least break a few ribs. But break their entire torso. Maybe that's what the time stop mechanic is. Like they have s what their life, their life flashing before their eyes. <laughs> I was gonna say something to designed to like prevent the impact from killing them. So now, now giant Mecha Godzilla is on our side. Oh, nice. And yeah, we control him now. Ishii just doesn't care. 